My name is Julie Tholey. Um, I was diagnosed with cholangeal carcinoma in 2019 at 53 years old. Uh, I'm from Woodbury, Minnesota, which is a suburb of, eastern suburb of St. Paul. I'm literally 15 minutes away from Wisconsin. Um, I'm a single mom of two adult children, no grandkids. I like to get out, outdoors, anything water, because we've got a lot of lakes here, um, boating, uh, beaches, barbecues. I was diagnosed, like I said, July 3rd, 2019 is when I, when I got the call that I tested positive for cancer. I was sent into the hospital for a biopsy uh, of the tumor just to confirm. Uh, it came back, obviously positive. Um, luckily, the, the surgeon that, that did the biopsy um, luckily knew that it was cholangiocarcinoma. So I, I went to an oncologist that's just within my insurance and um, you know he had talked to me, told me that the standard of care was gemsis. It gave me one to three years to live. Uh, which my daughter had multiple questions and he just kind of kept reiterating one to three years, one to three years, because I was diagnosed stage four. Uh, that's when my daughter reached out to Melinda Bikini and through LinkedIn and Melinda helped us quite a bit, um, kind of finding our way with what to do, what doctors, the importance of finding doctors that know what this cancer is all about. I went and saw somebody up in the clinical trial area for Dr. Jopley's, you know, his, his recommendation. And I was accepted to start, um, I think it's TAPUR, T-A-P-U-R clinical trial. And so I went from being, you know, diagnosed stage four, unresectable, um, one to three years to getting on this targeted therapy that shrunk everything in nine months and allowed me to be resected in September of 2020. The first initial doctor that I had seen that was gonna just put me on the gemsis and kind of just told my family one to three years, um, he, he in the interim, as I was running around getting second and third opinions here, he in the interim took a sample of the tumor. He had sent that out and he had already gotten the results back that I had, uh, I had, my mutation was a BRAF B600E mutation. Uh, so I was very, you know, I was very fortunate there because, because the gemsis had failed. Uh, we knew that this mutation existed um, and, and where, to, where to go from there. So finding out that I had the BRAF V600E mutation was a, a total game changer with with a plan of treatment for me. It uh, it went from here in Minnesota seeing these doctors that weren't able to get their hands on medications to when I went down to MD Anderson and and the team came in and looked at me and my daughter and, and they were full of smiles that I had this this mutation and. The hope, I guess, that you see on their faces also. Um, it, it's hard to explain. Um, it just instills hope in, in you in return. When you go to see a, like a regular oncologist and you're diagnosed with a rare cancer, they don't really go over uh, biomarkers and the, and the importance of getting them. And even people that join our cholangeal group uh, and you, you see how, how long they've gotten treatment and they were never even aware of biomarker testing and finding out if you've got a mutation that can be treated. And they come on and, and it's, you know, they're, they're basically asking us for, uh, you know, people with cholangeal carcinoma, what did you do and, and what, how did you get this treatment? And, and it's always, you always feel um, you know, fortunate, I guess, to be able to help people in, in this position to explain the, uh, the importance, I mean, the extreme importance of biomarker testing and finding out if you have mutations. As far as targeted therapy and, and what it's done, 
for, for me and my my family, especially my kids, um, it, it's given us beyond tremendous hope because we've seen the results.